Greetings and welcome once again to Living Supernaturally. It is such a joy to come together to spend a few moments in God's Word and pray together. This week we are talking about contentment. The topic for today is walking with God. Let's read from Micah chapter 6, verse 6 through 8. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow down before the exalted God? Shall I come before Him with burnt offerings? with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with 10,000 rivers of olive oil? Shall I offer my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Now, to understand what it means to walk on a spiritual level, let's consider what it means to literally walk with somebody, maybe a friend or a relative. Ask yourself, how are you going to interact with that person? What do you expect from that person even during the conversation? And how would you behave in return? Your steps move in similar pace to the other person. So when you walk, you're traveling in one direction. There is an overall sense of harmony, unity, and community with the person that you are walking with. Now, our scripture for today summarizes the way we are to live out God's word in our daily lives. And with these challenging words, act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly before God. What does it mean to act justly? means that we should strive to provide each and every one equal opportunities and treat them impartially in every area of life. It means not giving preferential treatment to the rich and powerful or demeaning the weak and the helpless. To love mercy is more than making an outward show of kindness. It means making mercy a part of our lifestyle where we truly learn to be intimate with God. And to walk humbly with God is to be in step with God, recognizing that we are totally dependent on Him. Now to shape such a response to God's Word, we'll need more than just good intentions. Let go of distractions. Now these distractions may not be sins per se. It could be money, it could be wealth, it could be family, it could be children, it could be our own work. Take time to sit down and reflect on your walk. Think of the times when you felt in harmony with God. Then think about, the about times when you felt lost, directionless or distant from God. Seek guidance from the Holy Spirit. You know, the times when you feel that you are walking in harmony with God, those are the times which are beautiful moments. We feel God close to our heart. Ultimately, God will guide you to the place that you are supposed to be at the right time, in the right way, and through the right method. You might be in a rush to get in there, but if you want to walk with God, you must trust God's chosen time. I want to encourage each one of us today, keep walking. No matter how many times you trip and stumble and fall, just rise up again, dust yourself off and continue to walk. Because God's promise is always with us. God will never turn His eyes away from us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this beautiful moment, Lord, just to spend in your presence. We thank you for your word that encourages us that even when we fall down, you will lift us up. You will rise us up on wings like eagles. We thank you, God, for this walk of life that you have given to each one of us, Lord. We pray that you will, Lord, enable us, equip us by the power of your Holy Spirit to do what you have called us to do, to fulfill every task. 
and to glorify your name. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.